Hey everybody, and welcome to a very special video. Today I'm going to be playing SCP Unity, the Unity remake. Now, over the past few days, of course, me and the gang have been playing SCP Containment Breach, and I was so impressed with that game and its lore that I wanted to play other games similar to it. And so that's how I got to SCP Unity here. Now, this is a single player game only, so it will only be me playing and not with the others. But that does give me the chance to tell you guys about another uh, main channel or another alternative YouTube channel that I have, which is called The Game Archivist. You can find the link to The Game Archivist channel in the description down below. And this is where I, of course, also do reviews of certain video games. And the footage that I use for those reviews, I film and upload in its entirety to The Game Archivist. So basically, they are long plays of me playing a game from uh, beginning to end. Um, it would really help me out a lot if you guys would go to that channel and subscribe to the channel. Uh, again, if you want to support me, please go ahead and over to the Game Archivist channel and subscribe. It would help me out immensely and I would be very grateful. You can also see what games I've played uh, and reviewed or will review in the future. You can ask me certain games to complete on the channel or also to replay but then with commentary. Again, the link to the Game Archivist channel is in the description down below, so please head on over there. And if you want to support me, then please subscribe. All right, without further ado, let's actually start now with a new game here. One of the reasons also why I'm playing this is because I am planning to do a long play and maybe even review um, on the Game Archivist channel. And since I haven't really played this game, I kind of wanted to, you know, work out the kinks, see how the mechanics work and make a video about it. And of course, I'm on my main Kanoa channel. Um, I am doing a lot of Jurassic World right now. Uh, and since we've done some SCP on Looping Reel for the past few days, I thought it might be better to have this video uh, uploaded there. Uh, of course, also, still people think that um, Looping Reel Gaming is a channel just run by me, but that is absolutely not the case. It is a, a collaboration channel between me, Ryan, and Greg. Uh, Woozy, of course, also plays with us a lot, but basically, you know, sometimes Ryan streams uh, and uploads a video by himself, sometimes I do. Uh, so, you know, we, we can sometimes also make videos uh, individually, upload to the channel, but in general, it's not a channel belonging to one of us, it's just a collaboration thing. But we still get a lot of luck. We still get comments of people thinking that uh, this is one of my, uh, my channels. It's, it's also because mostly I am the cameraman. All right, you can immediately see how much prettier this game is than Containment Breach. Now, Containment Breach is more detailed, deeper, has more mechanics, more SCPs, but this one has some exclusive monsters and SCPs and some really cool stuff. I've seen some videos way, way, way back, um, but have forgotten a lot of stuff. If you have some tips or tricks for this Unity remake, please let me know in the comments down below. We are going to discover all this together, guys. I love that with this, you know, graphics update, you can actually properly read everything. There's some Easter eggs in here, too. Look, we got Don't Blink. Alright, so interesting. So the radio actually says that there have been multiple sightings of 173, which is of course Peanut, or Don't Blink. Um, and 106 is the old man, the one that comes out of the shadow dimension. You got a lockdown, cafeteria menu, SCP-294. Does not immediately ring a bell. Ooh, look at that though, that's a high-res uh, food prop right there. Please don't touch. How to avoid disaster. We are, we are already way into the disaster territory. Alright. 
Yeah, that guy has seen better days. All right. You can quick save anytime with F5. This is the document for 173. Now, of course, we already know 173 very well, so I'm not going to actually read this. You will see that the model is different. From what I understand, the reason for that is a copyright issue. Back when SCP was very small, the owner of that model or thing didn't really care. But then as it became bigger and bigger, it actually did become an issue, and so they had to change it. Now I'm actually going to save. Let's get out there. Oh, we immediately have the thing there. Okay, hold on. Let's wait for a full blink. Okay, okay. I don't know where I'm going. Where is this? You can actually see now that I have a proper blink meter. A lot of these hallways are copy-paste. Oh. What do we got here? That's the issue when you're running from uh, SCP-650. Teleporting object. See, that's the issue when you are running away from uh, Peanut. Or 173. Is that... Oh god, what is that? Actually, I have seen this. This is the one that if I... He's just there to startle you. I think he's safe. He will follow you around and just be... Let's see, is there a note? Oh. Okay, let's, let's read real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. To be stored, blah, blah, blah. It's a black statue, stylized humanoid. Hmm... If it not being, it will relocate itself to a point immediately behind whoever it is in the containment site. Assume a threatening position. No noise is made. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Typically close enough to induce automatic fight or flight response. However, it should be noted that the SCP has not yet shown any signs of active aggression or hostility. Um, its purpose does not seem to be to attack, but merely to startle. Shit! Oh god, it's 106. I'm have I have 3 Ah! I have a bandage, but hold on. Where does this go to? Core room. So, oh no. Hell no. Come on, I need a better sprint. Oh my god, you're creepy. Oh! Oh, I'm fuck. Oh. Okay, am I safe here? Am I safe here? This is like a decontamination thing. No. No, I'm not. I also forgot to save. Okay, um, to my knowledge, there was, I'm at the, okay. oh, look at that, he's not here. So, I don't think, I'll unlock 650, but I don't think there was anything else there. He will probably startle us, which, you know, might not be good, but. So what happened there, because again, it was full-on panic, is while I was reading that, and you're never really completely safe in this game, uh, 106, the old man, came and attacked us, and he is hostile. I don't, is there anything else here? That's what I really want to know. It's just the... Yeah, you're fine. 
probably will startle me through this. Oh. Let's do a save right now. Blink. Oh. oh. I don't even know where he was. Two meters tall. Oh, I, okay. I guess it's also sort of a cheesy strategy to use a reload because he might be gone. I didn't know that. So yeah, see, he will actually now follow us. Mm-hmm, but he is harmless. Now, 106 on the other hand, isn't, and will try to kill us. The issue is though, in this version, he will not pull us towards a... Actually, what's over here? He will not pull us towards a shadow dimension like he does in Containment Breach, but he will try to uh, just wound us with regular attacks over time. Whoa! I saw the blink thing come on, so I was like, oh. save here what we got huh well, looks like 650 is not actually following us in here oh I don't know where he is where are you bitch So yeah, uh, this is why I wanted to upload the video to here, because I'm uh, working out the kinks. <laughs> I am discovering it with you guys themselves. Well, we can actually just immediately ignore this. Okay. Let's see, 173650, yep. All right, what we got here? Whoa! Oh. Let there be light. Okay, so with this, we can actually go to the other sub-levels. Sub right, okay, sub-level one. Before we go there, let's just go back and let's see what... Because this is a giant uh, area, this core area. Let's see what's in the other hallways. Uh, I don't think I came from there. Oh, this is different. Let's see. 914. That's the machine, I believe. Uh, 1499 is, I believe, the gas mask from Containment Breach. And we got secure storage. Now up here... Oh, well, I'm way different. Uh, SCP-131, no idea what that is. 7062, doesn't ring a bell. And offices. This door is red. I believe that... Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's where I am. Okay, so. I believe that the end area where you want to... Oh, shit. You're here, too. Hi there. 
Okay, uh, let's see. 914, 1499 secure storage. Is that where we want to go? What we want to do here? I have a pretty good idea of what those are. I have no idea what these are. So let's actually see what this is all about. Oh, loading new cluster. Hmm. Stay. Let's actually save. All right. What do we got here? That's seventy sixty two. That's that. Let's do seventy sixty two first, because that's only one thing. Uh oh, Tesla gate. Blah, blah, blah. To apply replacement cards. Security office located on sub-level 1. There, at the bottom. So we need to go to sub-level 1. Whoa! Okay. Damn it. Closed door. This looks different. Uh oh, warning. Harmless. Ooh, well. That's a good thing. 1762. This is a very nice looking room. Oh, we can open this. What is this? Something's inside here. Hold on. Let me let me read real quick what this is. Uh let's see. It's a plain cardboard box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spray painted sliver on the interior and says the words here be dragons. Okay. It's like a Game of Thrones reference, or no? It will infrequently open and initiate a release of uh, SCP 1762. Okay. During this time, the box will briefly emit a large amount of black smoke that quickly disappears and takes an average of 20 seconds. Collect a term applied to the beings that emerge from the box. All instances bear resemblance to various types of dragons. That sounds very interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Fly together in large groups. Interact playfully. Capable of sustaining flight. Okay, so it's... Okay, that... It says it's harmless, so... Let's see. I mean, this looks very nice. Pretty sure this is not an SCP from uh, Containment Reach. What do we got here? Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. It seems like this is so pleasant that people started bringing it items. Chambers running out of Argon. Talk to 914. Okay, that's the machine. Tank pressure exchange shark and tank. Okay. I see. And then we need to go to 914 to probably place this in there. Get Argon. Oh shit. Scared the shit out of me. Okay. Um I already regret taking uh 6501. Okay, gonna save. But I believe nine. This is not. I'm not in the cluster where nine fourteen is. The other one is one three one. But there's also security stuff. So let's actually go check that out. Yeah, I figure you were there. Again, one seven three is okay. It's uh one oh six where things get ugly. Now the good thing though about these Tesla gates, are these actually? Can you open these? Seemingly locked, okay. If you run through these Tesla gates, you should be able to uh, lose them. Or that's at least the lore in the containment breach. Ooh, this looks nice. Look at this! 
We can like pro oh. Patreon. Hello. Uh. So yeah, I I think that also said that we there's like the offices area here, right? Like if you are a Patreon at a certain uh, money level, you can. Oh, here probably. Um. Thomas, I don't know. But basically, what I think you can do, because in the menu, there's, like, an option to, like, decorate your uh, office or something. But what I think is, you can get an office of yourself, and can then, like, decorate it with, uh... Ooh. That's cute. I'm drinking a Coca-Cola can myself just now. Um, but yeah, you can basically have, uh, like... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Design it, uh, to your liking. The fact, I will, I will say this, the, the fact that that SCP, oh, whoa, God, what the hell, uh, was in here, uh, scares me a little bit, to be honest. Lily Bailey. I wonder if those photos are also, like, oh, these must also be, like, yeah, exactly, it's, like, you can probably, like, send in your own photos and have them, like, hang around the thing, that's really cool. Lily Bailey. Look at that! <gasps> they have Nemo and Dory in there. This is not good. Low oxygen levels. Mm -mm. I wonder if there are like... Again, I think there's quite some Easter eggs in some of the stuff that's hanging around the, the facility. <laughs> okay, now, let's do another save. I never know uh, if it's smart to open the doors or close the doors. Because if you open the doors, they might move more freely. But then again... It's a little obnoxious. Whoa! Yabba dabba doo! Woo! Oh, no, that's you're not scary. You're you are scary, but you're not dangerous. Now you, on the other hand, I will say this. One thing that I find kind of interesting is that uh, I thought six five zero would be like an absolute. St what is this? Are those onions? They look like the, uh... Oh my god, I used to have sort of one of those, like, placemats when I was a child. They look like the, um, the slimes from Dragon Quest. The hell are these? Oh, med kit. That's, uh... Ah, there's a pleasant, uh... Music here. Hopefully I'm not gonna get attacked. Harmless. Good. Let's actually read. I save because if I get attacked again... 131. What do we got? Uh, no special safety are to be taken. <laughs> it's permitted. It's recommended. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Subject possesses the intelligence of common house cats. Although curious, the subjects can sense danger. Uh huh. His approach, I don't think they were just dangerous. He will swarm around the person's feet while babbling in a panic tone. During an incident that took place, the subject followed one of the cleaning staff on a routine cleaning of the container of SCP-173. Okay. Once inside, the staff observed the subject sitting in front of SCP, watching it intensely as it was aware that it could only move if uh, unobserved. Uh, observed. Uh, the cleaners ignored the presence of the subject and continued with the by week. Oh! So they are watching it. And then the cleaners could do their, their work. Rolling backwards slowly and never taking their eyes off SCP-173. The Wardens. Oh my god, that's interesting. That's actually really cool. That's like a countermeasure as uh, Wait a minute. Oh! Do you think... If I free these guys... Can I, like, beat? Or don't have to worry about 173? Is there... Quiet! 
What's this? Uh, 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 obligation, blah, blah, blah. Tomorrow report to security office on sub-level one. Okay. For the rest of your day, please know you will be assigned a locker in the security office. Okay. Oh, you know what? I, I see, I see, I see. The key card is probably on sub-level one. So, let's see. Okay, hold on. We have several objectives here. 914 is on this floor, but if we can get the key card and get these guys, uh, 173 might not be an issue. Since I'm already here and I have completed this cluster, we might as well go back to the core room, check out the other stuff, see if we can get the Argon, um, and then go to sub-level 1. Do another save. Uh -huh. Blinky blinky. Ugh. Always scares me if I'm like in a one long hallway like this and the bloody thing is not there. Because he is moving in real time, I can tell you that much. And I'm also uh, talking just now, just so that I won't go crazy. I mean, I won't lie, this game. Uh, playing by yourself? Pretty damn scary. But I love the lore. Uh, I think the lore and the whole concept of SCP is just incredible. It's so brilliant. Uh, yes, this is that. There's actually a secure storage here, too. Okay, that also needs a uh, cluster. Uh, let's actually do a save now. Oh. I mean, I think we already established that these things will not protect me. You can clean me all you want, but... Okay, what do we got here? Uh, 914. 1499. Let's go to 9... Oh, Jesus Christ. I said earlier, before I got cut off by myself when we were in 131, so the one thing that actually I'm kind of, I find cool with uh, 650, the guy that keeps following me but not attacking me, is I thought he would be a constant thing, like just on your ass the entire time. But that's actually not the case. He appears sporadically. And it gives me a good start. That must be the machine. Hold on. Let's actually check if there's something here. What do we got? Maybe... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Very fine. Some type of explosive liquid. Density. What? Oh, what do we got here? Oxygen. Uh... Now, the music has me believing that I'm safe. Uh, I hope that is the case. What's this? Helium. Ducks. Oh, is that the... Is that the Markiplier duck? Duckplier. Duck seems to apply regardless of the associated subject. Blah, blah, blah. Disco duck. Okay. X-ray duck. When held, subjects have to describe the effects as a visual distortion that makes reality be perceived in the black and white view. Okay. Hmm. Well. Seems that the ducks are pretty harmless. Now, hold on. We got oxygen and we got helium. What is happening here?
Okay, so that's Argon. Okay, so the H... If we do water, then 1-1 one, one gives us 2-H. Then on fine, I assume, which gives us helium. Which we're gonna... Uh, you need 2 N E. So one can be made, hold on. These are obviously for testing purposes. Where is this? Okay. I think this might actually be a safe area. I don't want to jinx it, but not even the uh, 650 is here. Okay, let's do a save uh, in case I mess up, but let's put, how does this work with inventory? How do I drop it? Okay. So we have H, E, and O. And then we do fine, and that gives us N, E. Oh! Hello. How are you doing? Again, the fact that you are here does not bring me safe. That's, uh, I found it actually very scary. Neon, okay. Okay, so we have neon, and we need two of those. So, this one now we have to actually make from scratch. So, first H2O, this one's empty. So, here we go. Okay. That is also one on one. Uh, e or actually, it's now on find. Is that correct? Yes. That needs to be. Let's check. One one. Yep. I feel like they're doing chemistry and like breaking bad or something. This is actually pretty cool. This is more expansive than um what you can do in containment breach. So in containment breach, of course, you have a lot more items you can uh, use. And I guess this sign up there had some other stuff you could do, like the the liquid gas or the liquid whatever it was. Infantry fool. Oh. I do have a lot of bandages. I will say that. Okay. So, and now again. The two H's. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Never thought I would be doing chemistry in uh, an SCP game. Fine. Actually, that might be very fine. Let's save. And then we take the O that we got there with the HE. Yes. So, there and there. Eh, I figured you would be there again. This time you didn't scare me. Um, fine again, and then one on one. Sorry, I'm fine. Yep. Okay, and then with that, we can go back to. I forgot the number of it, but it's on this floor. And then we can focus on 131 and the. Hopefully key card on sub level one though I think you can also go down uh, let's see h2o h2o one one sorry I was spacing out there. there's so much on that board actually save again because if you mess this up you have to do all of that over again from scratch and I actually don't know if you can do like multiple like if you do two h2o's if you can uh, do it at the same time. Let's see, one, 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 one. Here we go, give me that Argon, baby. There we go. All right, Argon. Perfect, save, and what else was there? There was, uh, there is actually, before we go there, let's actually do explore this cluster. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that's where I came from. So yeah, secure storage and fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken, is the gas mask that in containment breach. If you turn, if you put that on, you are teleported to a different dimension where there are monsters that will kill you. And the way you beat it is just take off the gas mask. What is this? Oh! Hell yeah. SCP-500 are the pills that cures... That cure everything. <gasps> it's 714. 714, if I'm not mistaken. Is there not a uh, book or thing? No. 714 is the ring that protects you against a lot of stuff. But... Um... The down- what is happening to my vision? Okay, I cannot run. Yeah, so the thing with um, with the 714 is that if you wear it, you become very tired. Like you, for example, the plague doctor cannot hurt you. Medical hypo. I'm getting all sorts of items. This was the x-ray duck. If you touch that... Oh! Alright. Very interesting. Wonder if there's like a human in front of me, if I would see its skeleton. I don't know what this hydro thing does. But yeah, in general, 714 is good, but you will be very slow. And I guess here in this version, you also uh, get a thing. But yeah, 500. Oh, hi there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what it said. I don't know what it said. I think I just summoned the devil. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord of mercy. You are here, too. Uh, where are we going? We're going to 1499. There, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. This is a dead end. This is the dead end. This That's the gas mask right there. Hello. Ah, ah shit. There's a book in there. Oh, fuck it. Oh, if I walk in the sludge, I'm slow. It also hurts. Okay. How about we go back? I don't know when the last time I'm saving this core room. Core room. Core room, baby. Ugh, this is not gonna save me. Only a Tesla gate will. Oh, Jesus. Hurry up, 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 hurry up. God damn it. I don't know when the last time I was saved. I, it was in the. Um, I definitely saved in the, uh, the security room. I don't think we need to go to 1499. Um, there, there was like a document there, but I don't think I could interact with it. But yeah, man, um, 49, or, uh, not 49, 106, the old man, is obnoxious here. He follows you around for a very long time. Also, I got very much screwed in this, uh, room right here. There was a chance, because if, when I walked back, I could have closed the door, but ugh, that was very difficult. The core we go. Oh, great. <laughs> Blink one eighty two. Close the door. Okay. So we have the Argon, correct? Yes. 
So, let's go to here, and then we should be done here, right? Uh, no, that's where I came from. Before we go to sub-level 1 again, uh, I would like to see if you can actually also go to sub-level 3. Okay, what we got here? Uh, 131... This one, is it? 1762. That's a high number. I have no idea how many uh, SCPs there are. Thousands. Again, I think anyone can make their own SCP. This is actually also good to remember that I have to go here uh, to uh, to get to the ones that will uh, fight against 173. Or they won't fight it, but if I have them with me, I should be safe, question mark? Alright, let's see what this does. Mm, okay. Purge ready. Okay, purge does not sound good, but sure. Did I do a bad? Unlock. It's supposedly harmless, so... Jump scare? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, look at all of them. <gasps> How euphoric. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at him! See? Not every SCP is evil and trying to kill you. It's so cool to now and then just find an SCP that's just peaceful and, like, fun. Oh, God damn it. And he immediately is gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> asshole. Can we can we change that that guy's uh, nickname to asshole? Because that's what he is. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I guess there was no real reward there except just, you know, to feel good, which I needed that, okay? It's been so much death and just jump scares and whatever that feeling good for a moment is... Just, uh, Reward in and of itself. Oh, Christ. Shut the fuck up. That's where I need to go to. Uh oh. So, what happened there is I closed the door on myself. That was. Very close. Okay. So, with that done, why am I still blinking in this room? Okay, so, first things first. I want to check if I also can go down. Yep. Looks like it. Okay. Now, by going... Ooh, God. By going with the logic of containment breach, you want to go up. That's where the exit is. Um, and again, this game does not have an exit at the moment. It's been abandoned, unfortunately, by the, by the creator quite a while ago because of health reasons. Uh, but what I understand is that sort of like now the end goal is getting to the upper level um, uh, offices. 
that's sort of like the final zone that they added, which is supposedly peaceful. Uh, and though that's not actually an exit, you can kind of set that as an end goal. Now, I don't know what there is in sub-level 3, but I would definitely also like to check that out. You know, curi curiosity killed the cat, but this whole game and its lore is just all about exploration and finding things out. Like, already, like, that Here Be Dragons SCP? Fascinating. Just fascinating. You know, doesn't do you any harm. Um, but just, you know, is there. And it's just fun. And even to the point where people will, uh, staff members will... Okay, that's the security office. Where staff members will leave items. For the SCP. Maybe, you know, growing a bit too attached to it. Uh, let's see, we got something here. Archival storage and staff offices. So I assume that that, is what I'm talking about, is the um, kind of the end goal that you can set for yourself. However, what I want to go to now is the security area. To, um... To, uh, oh, there we go. To get hopefully the key. Oh my goodness. Hmm. To hopefully get the key to unlock 131. Okay, this is exactly a copy of the previous hallway. Like to the point where it had the same sign. Tesla Gate. I won't lie. Up until now. <laughs> I thought I saw him in the background. Okay, what we got here? Sky Room. Security Office. So, up until now, the... Um, the Kanoa Seed has been uh, pretty good when it comes to finding a map. So... I'm very glad with it. Saving. Whoa, what is this place? There's a little cafeteria. Now, I'm a little scared since I know that uh, 173 is right at the other side of that door. Playing chess. Uh, saving again. All right, what do we got here? What am I looking at? Just looking for like documents or key cards. Anything I can miss. Davis Campbell said he was going to take his break early. If you need anything, you can find out upstairs. The Skyroom cafeteria. We saw that earlier. Great. Okay. Well. Looks like we're going back. And I wonder if our friend is still there. Again, this is all actually to... If this succeeds, and I don't know how it works, but if we can, like, contain 173, that would be amazing. That would be so cool that they should add that to Containment Breach. Actually don't know. I, I don't think the engine is supported anymore for Containment Breach, but uh, I have no idea how long that still had been uh, supported. I know for the multiplayer version, they want to add Steam Workshop so that people can just add mods and add stuff there. I know there are already mods out there for regular Containment Breach. Whoa! Fuck off! Just... <laughs> Every now and then, it, it takes long enough breaks to where I will forget it's talking, it's, it's stalking me. And then it just scares, whoa. I guess this is the sky room that they were talking about. Uh-oh, hey. What are you? 
the layout of this looks like um, there's a room in Containment Breach where if you go here, Peanut is always there downstairs. Uh, what do we got here? Any items? Anything I can take? It's a little bit too quiet, if you know what I mean. Oh, hola, hola, die, lo, 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 la, die, la, die. Oh, that's the security, 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 security. Shit, 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 shit. Whoa, get out of my face, get out of my face. Shit, I am hurting quite bad. I am hurting quite bad. Oh God, I have to use some bandages. I might have to stop. Him. That of course does not stop him. Just teleport and use bandage. Bandage up and shop and shop. Ah! I always hate it when we have this. You're such a bitch. Yeah, and then we have you. You're also a bitch. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? No, not the core room. The other one. The security thing. Wait a minute. Oh, come here. Come here, bitch. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Come here. Did I get you? Ha <laughs> ha. Long live the Tesla Gates. I didn't really test it. I guess I could have tested if if uh, SC, if uh, SCP-500 would heal me completely. Okay. Oh, thank God. See, it's really cool. There's actually a lot more to this uh, version than you would think. Okay, no radio chatter there. Ugh. Ah, got some sleeping quarters over here. Oh, was there an item I could... No, that's the door. What do we got here? Unlock Tesla offices. Oh, those are the doors next to the thing. Emergency over... Oh. Disable Tesla gates. Ah, oh, interesting. I mean, that would make moving around a lot easier uh, and quicker, but as I said, or shown, the- ooh, is this- <gasps> there we go, yes! The, uh, the Tesla gate actually helped me to get rid of uh, 106 there. Okay. I don't know what that was, but it was scary. Okay, now we need to go. Hold on. Back to. Oh, it only heals with 10. Back to the core room. Down to sub level 2. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god, I don't know if I can do this. Nope. Okay, so. <laughs> That might have not worked anyway, because I had to wait for the, uh, uh, the Tesla gate. Oh, here we go. This is the cutie. There we go. Man, that is a cheap thing to just... Whoa, you son of a... Blah, 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 blah. Let's actually see what's now in these offices. Uh, hey, what does that do? I have two now. Do I not? Yeah. Does that increase my health? Okay, no, it just heals me. 
security memo. Lloyd Foley. Maybe that's the person you need to get rid of the Tesla gates. It says here sub level 3, so that's downstairs. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. That probably. Whoa! God damn it. This game is not good for my heart. <sighs> also, what we'll do here's what here's here's a plan. Um. I probably, in this video, will not go to sub-level, uh, three. Uh, because the video has been going on long enough. So, we will go back to 131 and see if we can indeed use them, uh, to get rid of 173. Uh, and then after that, go back to sub-level 1 and just go to the offices to see if, indeed, that is the area that I think I'm talking about. Are all of these the same? Uh, a meta thing. Two of two. Okay, yeah, so they're just copying. I start speaking a whole different language when that thing is here. And no, it's not a real language. Blink 182. Blinky blinky. No, just you wait. I'm gonna get those onions and we will capture you. Okay, good, good, good. So, if you were able to, like, uh, deal with, uh, 173, all you need to worry about is 106, who, up until now, has been very annoying, and every time he showed up, I died. But, I feel, and again, I hope I don't jinx myself, I feel he's a bit more infrequent here than in Containment Breach. That's 6-5, uh, let's see. Where are we heading? Where we're heading. One three one. Loading cluster. Another save. All right. Now. One three one. I'm getting goosebumps here. I feel like 173 just wants to have my berries. Here we go. Okay, let's do another save in case they, I don't know, doesn't work. Ta da! Make SCP fall. Hello there! Hold to dismiss. So, like, if I now go. <gasps> oh my god, look at that! I've got friends! I'm not alone anymore in this game! What do we call them? Tweedle A, Tweedle B? How, do we... How about Pim and Poe? Pim and Poe! How about we go find 173 and see what we can do, hmm? All right. Come on. There we go. All right, let's see how this works. 
Are you... Okay. I'm not too sure if they can get stuck in the uh, environment or whatever. Okay, their pathfinding seems to be pretty good. I hope we actually come face to face with 173 here because I don't know if they can get into the elevator. Hopefully he's behind this door? Question mark? Or is it like, because I now have, oh, oh, what, where, 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 oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, look, they're, they're watching it. Ha ha. Horrible timing for you, dude, but look at that. They're just watching it. Get, what are you doing? First of all, this is not curling. Okay, no. It's exactly as I said. I'm sa I hope, hey, uh, Pim and Poe, thank you so much for uh, keeping it there. I hope now that I can freely explore this area and not have to worry about 173. Like, no matter how much I blink, nothing happens. Look at that. This is awesome. This is great. I feel a little bit sad leaving them alone, but uh, hopefully it works in the sense that now I don't have to worry about it 173 anymore. And of course, I don't believe the plague doctors in this game, uh, but you know, you, you could very much do that and still have a challenging game. You know, 173, of course, is the face of SCP uh, in a way. But there are so many other hostile ones out there that. You can definitely uh, take them out, and it actually requires quite a bit of uh, preparation. You know, you need to go to another sub level. You need to get the key card first to the security office, then to one three one. So uh, that's where I was. And so you could actually even still go back there and get rid of the Tesla gates, but I don't think that's a very good idea. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Okay, how about we do check the archival storage and then go to the staff offices to uh, to end it there. I'm also super curious if we will indeed um, not have to deal with 173 anymore. That would be a breath of fresh air. And this is probably the same. Wow, these are all copies of the same thing. Okay, what do we got? Staff offices, that's where we want to go last. Archival storage. I'm beginning to recognize quite a few of these rooms. Where I don't, again, a lot of these are just straight hallways, but it's the same with this particular sign or board. Whiteboard, that's what I'm looking for. With all the room bus for that. What was it? Okay. Oh. Wait. What are you guys doing here? Where's 173? Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. As long as you come with me. Uh, hello. Under construction. Cute. What is this? What the tap center? You are also an asshole. You are also an asshole, but I got my friends. Look at that. Haha. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, it's an elevator. I see. Where does that go? Are you still there? Hello? Oh. Okay. 
I wonder if this is purely an elevator to get to sub-level two or three. I kind of want to find out, but you are kind of annoying me. I mean, I, hold on. Saving again. But yeah, I can just look away from I can look away from you and you cannot do anything to me. That, however, is not the smart thing to do because they will lose uh, eye contact. So, looks like we are going to the um, offices now. Anyway. Again, like I said, if, um, if you know any tips or tricks, let me know. Also, in this video, we haven't been down to a sub-level 3. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything worthwhile there to like film or play or whatever. If there's their item, are there certain SCPs? What's on sub level three that's worth going there? Again, I saw that it's probably you get the credentials or key card or whatever to deal with the Tesla gates, but that's not that important in my eyes. Oh, that's a big bag. Also, I just now realized that uh, the uh, SCP-173 is indeed able to get rid of those little creatures. But little creatures apparently also follow me. Also, I think this is it. Offices. Guys, I think this is the end. And as I said, um, the game does not have a proper exit. The creator had to abandon it because of health reasons. You even have some people saying that they ran away with the money that they got from Patreon. I don't know how much money they got each month from Patreon, but I assume it's quite a lot because you see how polished this game is. This is not a merely, you know, game that's been created in like one or two weeks. There's been some significant effort in this. And um, since we're at the end, we're just going to check out these... Uh, these offices real quick but then leave it at that um, again guys if you would be so kind uh, and to support me by going on over to the game archivist YouTube channel you can find the link in the description down below and uh, please subscribe to that channel it will help me out a lot oh look at this and uh, I hope you guys had fun we still have to beat of course SCP containment breach multiplayer we do intend on doing so. I do have to admit that I'm the one that does like the game the most. But Greg also really likes the game. Uh, oh, Jesus. He just says that he needs to, you know, go in fresh. It kind of wears him down after a couple of hours. Uh, Woozy, I don't think, likes the game too much. Uh, and Ryan, well, you know... If you're a long-time viewer, you know Ryan always uh, whines and cries about... A game. I don't think we've played a single game on Looping Reel where he hasn't bitched about anything, so, you know, that's just Ryan. Look at this. All these little cats. Wow, we got a cat lover in here. This must be an old cat lady. What's the name of this? Caleb Conradi. Sounds like a guy. Casey Seal! Huh. Ah. That's where the seal thing comes in. Oh, final office. Braxton Armani. Ooh, this guy has like a seating area. Wow, there's all these little chairs. Ah, looks like a dinosaur. It's an SCP. All right, guys. That was it. I hope you uh, you like this video. I think SCP Unity is amazing. It's just, it is a shame. We will never probably see a newer version of this. Uh, it's definitely worth remaking in a different engine. I heard there's a team making or remaking it in the Unreal Engine, but I looked up for videos of it. I couldn't find anything in the recent months, so I don't know if that project is still alive. But um, even for what it's worth, even though it is indeed an incomplete game, I absolutely adore SCP Unity. It's, of course, completely free. Uh, there's a lot of cool mechanics. Uh, you know, there are even some puzzles like go get this uh, key card, you know, the machine with the Argon. I think, I don't know how long I play this, but I think for a good hour, maybe longer. And we haven't even checked out sub-level 3, so there's like a good one and a half to two hours of content in this free game. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll go down now, and uh, I need a drink. I uh, all the jump scares is not good for my heart. Um, probably get a get a soda, get the sugar to uh, take off the edge. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.